What's up everybody, welcome to another CES 2025 video. Today we are taking a closer look at Geekom's impressive mini PC lineup showcased at CES 2025. My journey with Geekom began 3 years ago with the mini IT8. No, I haven't got it. I had to buy it and I was super impressed with the performance. So I have became a loyal user. Over time, I have added models like the Mini Air 11, Mini IT12, A7 Ryzen 9, and the GT1 Mega Gaming PC to my collection. Recently, I broke up with my girlfriend Kia, and she took two of my favorite mini PCs with her. That's what spurred my search for new mini PCs. When I discovered Geekom's booth at CES, I couldn't pass up the chance to explore their latest offerings. At the Geekom booth at CES 2025, a few mini PCs caught my attention, but the GT1 Mega stands out as the one to get. It seems like it actually is a very good value for money mini PC, which is packed with powerful hardware, all the necessary features, and comes with a very good price tag. With its sleek design, compact build, and extensive range of ports, it's designed to handle a variety of needs. From USB-C to HDMI and dual Ethernet ports, the connectivity options are outstanding. Powered by Intel Core Ultra 9 185H or Ultra 7 155H processors and Intel Earth graphics, the GT1 Mega is built for peak performance. Features like ray tracing, XCSS, dual channel DDR5-5600 memory, and PCIe 4.0 SSD storage make it a multitasking and gaming powerhouse. The advanced Ice Blast 2.0 cooling system ensures steady performance even during intensive tasks. Considering its capabilities, the GT1 Mega is an excellent value for money. This is the mini PC I'm most excited about and one I plan to review in depth soon. It's a compact powerhouse ready for both work and entertainment. Well, if it doesn't suit you, if you need something more powerful, then here comes Geekom IT15. Yeah, the next mini PC we are gonna talk about is this Geekom IT15, a compact powerhouse designed with content creators and professionals in mind. Featuring a sleek design and thoughtful port placement, it includes dual USB A3.2 Gen 2 ports, a 3.5mm headset jack, an SD card slot, and the Kensington lock. The back adds two USB-C 4.0 ports. Here there are two USB-C 4.0 ports. That's actually a lot for a mini PC. Well, it also has dual HDMI 2.0 and a 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port. All these actually ensures excellent connectivity options. Okay, at its core, the IT15 packs the latest Intel Core Ultra 9 285H processor, up to 64GB of dual-channel DDR5-5600 RAM, and dual SSD slots for extensive storage and seamless multitasking. It supports a quad monitor setup, making it ideal for creators handling complex workflows. With Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4, and advanced performance features, the IT15 is a versatile solution built for demanding tasks combining power, connectivity, and convenience in a compact form. For those seeking the best without budget constraints, this mini PC with all available upgrades is the ideal choice. Trust me, once I get this Geekom IT15, I'll definitely review it and I'll put it head to head with my Mac Mini M4. Last but not the least, yet this is going to be my daily driver soon. Well, if anybody from Geekom is watching this video, then would you give me some discount or would you send me this mini PC? I'm in love with this Geekom QS1 Pro. Well, the Geekom QS1 Pro stands out as a groundbreaking mini PC. As part of the world's first mini PCs powered by a Qualcomm chipset, it features the ARM-based Qualcomm Snapdragon X1 e processor with 12 Orion CPU cores clocked at 4 GHz. Wait. That definitely is a lot. <laughs> now I'm thinking like, okay, should I put this Geekom QS1 Pro head to head with my Mac Mini M4? I think I'm gonna put this one head to head with my MacBook Pro M4 Pro. Okay, 12 Orion CPU cores at 4GHz. 
that's only a start because it also comes with very good GPU power. We'll talk about this in a bit. The Geekom QS1 Pro comes with a very compact design and includes convenient ports like USB-A, USB-C, DisplayPort, HDMI 2.0, and even an SD card slot. Like other Geekom PCs, it also offers an excellent connectivity options. This clever mini PC is not just fast but also incredibly efficient. With a Qualcomm Adreno GPU and 45 tops hexagon NPU, it breezes through all types of different tasks while being energy efficient enough to help reduce electricity bills. Moreover, support for up to 64GB of LPDDR5X RAM and Wi-Fi 7 ensures seamless multitasking and fast, reliable wireless connectivity, making it an ideal choice for the people who wants to have a perfect mini PC. For its performance, energy efficiency, and innovative Qualcomm-based design, the QS1 Pro is perfect for daily use. Now it feels like this is the mini PC I wanna get and I'm most excited about. The truth is, I'm actually excited about all the new Geekom mini PCs. Cause each new Geekom mini PC brings its own strengths, offering a wide range of options. Whether you are after value or high performance, Geekom has a choice to fit every need. Well, which of these would you like me to review first? Leave a comment in the comment section and share your thoughts and ideas. I'll definitely try to review all of these three, but if you want me to do any comparison or something like that, don't forget to mention it in your comment. Before I wrap up, one thing I need to mention, even if I look happy and excited, yeah, I'm happy and excited about the products and my CES 2025 tour, but the place I call home at LA is a very close to Sunset Fire and we actually had this evacuation warning, but literally people have burned and a lot of properties got burned. So, so I hope that you will have people of Los Angeles in your thoughts and prayers. Well, if you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. And also, if you join the channel membership, that will actually help us a lot because we have to buy all the review units. And I do all the unbiased reviews, so most of the brands don't like me. So without your support, it's very difficult. Go ahead. If you can, join the channel membership. Be a part of the HDD squad. Oh, I'm